Hello great people, welcome back to our channel. We are so excited to have you again. The issue of insecurity is still lingering, especially in the southwestern part of Nigeria. At first, it was as if your state is free, considering how um, Sunday Ibowu took steps to see how he can correct the ills. And, uh, but unfortunately, uh, that's not the situation. Even as at yesterday, there was a very serious news that came from Ogun State, that, book, that uh, Governor Dagbo um, had already mapped out some strategy, security strategy to handle the issue. But guess what? It's not good enough because these guys are still impacting very negatively on the people of Ogun State. A woman yesterday was hacked down and the whole band came crying. And there are news that most of the Ogun residents have decided to find solace in Bene Republic. Most of them are now refugees in Bene Republic because it seems that the government is not, not doing so well. Some people even went as far as saying every problem that happened, it is Fulani Hesman, it is Fulani that some people are now in that guise of Fulani Hesman doing everything. Some uh, residents are then carrying out some nefarious act against the people and all of that. But there is a news that we are going to share now which clearly shows that the Fulani Hesman, no matter what, are still around and they are stopping at nothing to fight whoever that comes their way. And guess the current people that are even having to exchange blows with and had even gone as far as injuring is actually a motekun, which is a security outfit. And even the local vigilantes, they are right now in very critical condition. I mean, this thing is escalating. That's why when I saw the report yesterday, if you check our feed, you're going to see the news. When I saw the report yesterday that President Buhari, via his one of his spokesperson, Gaba Shehu, in, you know, um, BBC interview in Hausa came out to say that the president has have authorized the security operative that anybody who they see with any weapon, especially in the forest, should be should they should just hack him down immediately. I, I, I pray that that will be true because already we have issues right now on ground. I, I'm going to read the news and also you will look at some of the reactions of Nigerians. And according to the news, two persons were said to have been killed during a fight between Fulani and Yoruba at Aba Abugudu Market in Atisobo local government area of Oyo State. Also, two members of the Oyo State Security Network Agency, known as a Motekun and a Vigilante, were injured following the fight that happened on Monday. The cause of the fight is still sketchy as of the time of filing this report. Sources told us that the Motekun men were trying to break the fight when a Fulani man drew out his cutlass and attacked the three security agents, inflicting varying degrees of injuries on them. The name of the injured Amoteku men were given as Michael Oguntade and Yekini Taitijani, while the vigilante, who was also reportedly injured, and the two Amoteku were said to have been rushed to hospital where they are still being treated. Speaking, the commandant of uh, Amotekun Corp in Oyo State, Colonel Olayinka Olayanju, retired, confirmed the incident on the telephone. However, Amotekun commander said, Our men who were attacked are still in the hospital. Fulani men and Yoruba were engaged in a fight at Aba Agudugu Market. There were two Amotekun Corps there and some vigilante. Our men Amotekun were trying to break the fight. One of the Fulani men was said to have attacked our men with a cutlass on the head. He attacked the other one on his hand. Those attacks were rushed to the hospital, but those fighting still continue with their fight. The police were said to have recovered two corpses, but I don't know who are killed. The police are in a better position to know. The police public relations officer in the state, Mr. Olubenga Fadai, said the incident has not been reported to him just as he promised to find out i mean this is this is not good i, I don't know why we have not accepted um peace to coexist as one people you know this is why the issue of this cessation is so strong and most people are even putting their lives in the land because li lives in the line because they want it to be a reality 
For once, can't we exist as one people? You know, it's so troubling. It's as if one Nigeria is no more possible again. How can you, a little thing that will happen before we know, Nigeria, one of the greatest reports now in Nigeria, check it out in all the national dailies. Sometimes, if you sit back to analyze all the information, all the news uh, that we have seen thus far, it still revolves around insecurity, loss of life, attacking, kidnapping, insurgency, and all of that. I, sometimes I just keep wondering, when will the right one come? When will he ever come? Because it's really troubling. Now you find yourself in an environment and then there's disagreement. Disagreement is a normal thing in any business transaction. There, there, there come a time where somebody is trying to inflict pain on you, you're trying to do something stupid. You just overlook it and allow everything to be so that peace can reign. But every now and then they're fighting here. Tomorrow they're in Ogun State. People can no longer stay there. The other man there that was once attacked who was complaining of how slow that poor Abudu is said that these guys came to feast on his farm. And when he re reacted and said, why would you guys do this kind of thing? It was a case of attack and all of that. There need to be some very strong laws on ground to correct these things. The people cannot do their business. Well, we're talking about the issue of farming and all of that, that the South should start getting involved in. How would they ever get involved when the forests are not free? I could still remember when we were children, you go to the farm and you stay in the farm for more than seven hours. You finish doing what you are doing and you finish, you eat what you took to the farm and continue again. It was just a normal thing. But right now, there is no possibility like that because when you're going, you have to think of how about if I am attacked? What will I do? Some people have resorted to, you know, buying products and selling it and before you know agriculture is forgotten about and which is not good for our economy i think at this point the government needs to wake up let's look at some of the reactions of nigerians and this one here says our governors are sending this about the men to their early graves you want this those guys to face full and terrorists that you are that are armed with ak-47 with damn guns yoruba governors are the most Wonderful in this country. God bless Yoruba nation. Mm. And this one here says, We should stop this thing by waking up to our responsibility. This is not how it should be. And that one here says, ESN is there. Tell your governors to grow some balls and set up their own amotekun. Criminal Fulani headers are relocating en masse from the southwest every day because it has become too hot for them. Can they say same of the years? Amatekun is doing a good job where they are in operation. Any one ranting or any other rant you type is born out of envy. Yorubas are way beyond all the six geopolitical zones. Mm. Oh my God, God needs to have mercy on us because this thing is becoming it, it, it it's really troubling really really troubling this is not how nigeria should be this one here says the life that we are currently living in this country is revolving around a kick of gunpowder very soon something unexplainable will happen where nobody will be able to give details of nigerians a lot of reactions and some of them are very um very gory i don't want to talk about them but however i want to leave you they go to our comment section what do you have to say about this continuous attack of fulanis on yoruba on the southwest